Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I am Butch Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with a review of the Chevrolet Colorado, including a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the Honda HRV and the Mazda CX-3 as they go head-to-head. -head. We also have the latest developments in the local auto industry and a special feature on the recently concluded Race 3 of Bioscop Season 4. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your automobile of the year in this year's autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. with a very timely message from the General Manager for Automobile of Suzuki Philippines, Mr. Shuzo Hoshikura. It's gift-giving time of the year once again. If you are planning on giving your family or yourself gift of a lifetime, make sure to test drive it before you buy it. Come to the Autofocus Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Suzuki Philippines will have Celerio, Swift, Jimny, Seat, Ertiga, and a surprise new model for you. Please watch out for this. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! to the Autofocus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Chevrolet. Knowing they have the best mechanicals in the business, it's an easy feat for Chevrolet to update their Go Anywhere, Do Anything Colorado pickup. Yet they're leaving no stone unturned. This is the 2017 Colorado LTZ, a pickup that combines best-in-class performance with a more premium look and feel. It's this week's car review. <laughs> The new 2017 Chevrolet Colorado offers better performance, improved fuel economy, and lower emissions. 
with its upgraded 2.8L Duramax four-cylinder turbo diesel engine or VGT. It produces 200 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, making it the best in class in its segment. The new Colorado retains the same serious off-road capability as its predecessor with its 1-ton hauling capacity, 3.5-ton towing capacity, and best-in-class 800 mm water wading capability. Major changes to the new Colorado suspension deliver improved body control and ride isolation to cope with the variety of challenging roads found in the region. Changes include improved damper technology and hardware upgrades and revised spring rates to provide more control. It is new mountings for engine and transmission, while some body mounts have been changed from compression to shear mounts to provide a more composed ride with better isolation and control. It also has a four-wheel drive system with transfer case control knob allowing the pickup truck to adapt in various road conditions from urban roads to the toughest terrains. The introduction of electric power steering or EPS on upper specification models creates a more responsive feel giving you increased confidence on the road. Additionally, the new Colorado's relocated balance shaft along with a new engine acoustic pack ensures a quieter and more comfortable driving environment. The new Colorado is a tough yet sophisticated appearance with a press-hardened steel body and more angular lines and strong proportions, a nod to its American truck DNA. Combined with slim LED daytime running lamps, two-toned aluminum wheels, and chrome exterior door handles, the Colorado has an unmistakable road presence that makes it stand out from the crowd. Inside, the new 2017 Chevrolet Colorado provides superior comfort and technology. Its redesigned center console boasts an easy-to-use, intuitive layout featuring an 8-inch color touchscreen that houses the latest Chevrolet MyLink infotainment system with multiple smartphone OS compatibility, multimedia functionality, Bluetooth connectivity, SIRI eyes free and voice recognition software. Prestige elements have been introduced with a focus on spaciousness, refinement, and technology. Soft touch but durable materials, fabrics, and finishes are used throughout the truck, ensuring it is a comfortable as it is capable. The new 2017 Chevrolet Colorado comes with a host of active and safety features, including anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, and dual airbags. It also features cruise control, lane departure warning, forward collision alert, tire pressure monitoring system, front and rear parking assist, rear camera with dynamic guidelines, and an electrochromatic inside rearview mirror. The new 2017 Chevrolet Colorado is a tough and capable pickup truck that matches any lifestyle with a redefined design, superb engine performance, excellent handling, and serious off-road capability. Its exterior and interior have been redesigned with a tough yet sophisticated appearance, making it an ideal truck for work and play. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Vote for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph.
Mars Birthdays. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Vice President of Filipinas Taj Auto Group Inc., Mr. Art Balmadrid. Thinking of buying a car this Christmas? Make sure to test drive it before you buy it. The pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival, a one-stop shop for all brand new car models. Available in the country is happening on November 16 to 19 at the Mall of Asia, where Filipinas Touch, the exclusive distributor of Tata Motors vehicles, shall have the latest car models and commercial vehicles that will be made available for test drive. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas, everyone! Come to the Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to Autofocus and we now have the latest auto industry news. Motor Image Pilipinas, the exclusive distributors of Subaru vehicles in the Philippines, recently concluded the 2017 Palm Challenge held at 9th Avenue, Bonifacio High Street, Taguig City. Aspiring contestants who were competing to represent the Philippines in the Singapore Finals this October braved the sunny weather and held on to the all-new XV vehicles without letting go of their right palm. We're in the Subaru Festival 2017 right now and um, it's actually on its second year already. Comprising of the Subaru Festival is the introduction of our all-new XV, introduction of our Palm Challenge, and at the same time, we have other things happening here like car club displays. We have the entire Subaru lineup as you can see behind us. So it's more of a gathering of all Subaru enthusiasts and even those who just want to buy a Subaru to congregate in this place and uh, have fun. Basically, the Palm Challenge is a test of perseverance and resiliency. All you have to do is to put your hand on a car, last long enough, and uh, here in our qualifying Palm Challenge, the 10 Filipinos who are strong enough to stand the test of time by holding to the all-new XV, they will be flown to Singapore. They will be the Philippine team and uh, they will go against several other ASEAN countries. And um, hopefully this year will be the first year that we will win against all of those other countries. And the winner will drive home a brand new Subaru vehicle. After 11 hours, the final 10 finalists came through. The Philippines' top 10 will be flown to Singapore this October 27 to November 1, 2017 to compete in the regional finals of the Subaru Palm Challenge. The winner of the finals will drive home a brand new Subaru vehicle. <sighs> Meanwhile, Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated recently announced a 17% sales growth with recorded 3,273 unit sales in August 2017. According to a release statement accounting for nearly two-thirds of Hyundai's total sales volume is the passenger car segment, which grew by 2% in August 2016 to 2,122 unit sales this year. The sustained performance in this segment is largely attributed to the Accent, which grew by 14% from last year to 1,383 units in the same period this year. Meanwhile, the light commercial vehicle segment posted a remarkable 62% growth in sales 
and the credit goes to the H100, which grew by 238% last August to 477 units this year. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Vote for your favorite car models and stand a chance to win Autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Use your great power with great control with a new Isuzu D Max. You're tough enough to be unstoppable, and you're tough enough the hmm? to be right back. Isuzu D Max, tough enough for anything. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. We'll have more news about the auto industry still up ahead, but in the meantime, here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. The B-segment crossover segment is hotly contested right now. With new models being launched left and right, manufacturers are pulling out all the stops for your cash. For this week's Head to Head, we look at the higher end of the spectrum with the Honda HRV and the Mazda CX-3. Let the spec check begin. What do these premium B-segment crossovers have to offer? Let's start by taking a look under the hood. Powering the Honda HRV is the trusty 1.8-liter iVTEC engine with Earth Dreams technology. It puts out 141 PS and 172 Newton meters of torque, and it shifts via a continuously variable transmission with a 7-speed mode. Moving to the Mazda, it is powered by a 2-liter Skyactiv G mill similar to the one found in its big brother, the CX-5. Power is rated at 148 PS with 192 Nm of torque. A 6-speed automatic is standard for the baby crossover. The Honda HR-V is front-wheel drive only, while the Mazda can be specified with all-wheel drive. As for their suspension setups, both utilize McPherson struts at the front, but the two differ at the rear. In the HRV, it uses a double wishbone setup, whereas the CX3 comes with multi-link suspension. 
Inside, each of these crossovers offer a different personality. In the CX-3, the dash design is inspired from the MX-5 Roadster. It features a swooping wraparound dashboard with a minimalist theme, a thick leather-trimmed steering wheel with stitching, and leather seats with red highlights boost the athletic ambience. Its instrument cluster also gets a similar layout as the MX-5 with a large dial in the center and flanked by two trapezoidal displays that show fuel level, trip meter, average fuel economy, real-time fuel economy, and more. Moving to the HRV, Honda did an upmarket approach with swooping lines and intricate design details. The wide dashboard houses three air conditioning vents for the front passenger with the touchscreen dominating the center. Also present is a novel touchpad for the climate control system. Honda's B-segment crossover also makes wise use of interior storage space with its unique floating center console. This allows the occupants to use a wide array of cubby holes for added versatility. And for the instrument cluster, it is a floating effect with a cluster of dials logically arranged. A multi-information display shows various vehicle status as well as various options. The two also have different approaches for their infotainment systems. In the Honda HRV, all variants come standard with a 7-inch touchscreen display that houses not just entertainment functions but vehicle information and other options as well. As for connectivity, it packs Bluetooth, two USB ports, and HDMI in, iPad, and iPhone connectivity. Smartphone mirror linking can be done through the HDMI port and channels sound through six speakers. Mazda CX-3 also has 7-inch screen that can be operated either through touch or a scroll wheel found in the center console. Like the Honda, it accommodates both entertainment options and vehicle information and other means. Bluetooth is a standard, as is two USB ports, CD, and auxiliary in. All models get six speakers, but the top-of-the-line model gets a Bose sound system. With interior covered, let's move to the outside of each car. Starting with the Mazda, it follows the brand's Kodo design language that features slim headlights plus Mazda's current signature grille. The lower half of the bumper is given an aggressive look with sharp lines and defined angles. On to the side, the window line creases upwards all the way to the tail end of the crossover. As for the rear section of the car, the taillights have been inspired from the car it is based on, the Mazda 2 hatchback. As for the HRV, E2 follows the Mark's design philosophy, especially at the front end. The front fascia shows the solid wing face theme with its headlights that blend into the grille. Soft curves define the side of the HRV and boast a door pillar mounted handle at the rear doors. Moving to the rear, more curves are to be seen with the taillights complementing the rest of the design. An integrated rear spoiler is standard. In the safety equipment check, both models get dual airbags in their respective entry-level variants. Move up the range and both will find fitted with side airbags, as well as side curtain airbags and rear parking sensors. All variants of the HRV and CX-3 get rear-view cameras, traction control, stability control, and anti-lock brakes. On top of all those features, the HRV adds auto brake hold, hill start assist, and emergency stop assist. The Honda HRV and Mazda CX-3 are prime examples of small cars that are big on equipment, sporty, daring and adventurous. These upmarket B-segment crossovers blend style and practicality in well-sorted out packages. It's difficult to sort out the two, but one thing is for sure. Both the Mazda 6 3 and Honda HRV will definitely not leave you shortchanged. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, 
spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2017 GT Aircraft Concept. Watch this. British electric vehicle startup Alcraft Motor Company has revealed details of its first car, the high-performance Alcraft GT. The business is targeting a start of production in 2019 and is launching a crowdfunding campaign offering the chance to play a part in the development of the car and a new British brand. Alcraft Motor Company has been founded by businessman David Alcraft. He has assembled a core team including Charles Morgan, previously of Morgan Motor Company, ex-Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, CEO Christopher McGowan, designer Matt Humphreys who also spent time at Morgan, and ex-Toyota Daewoo, and Michelin Senior Executive Mark Carberry. The engineering partner is Silverstone-based Delta Motorsport, whose expertise in electric drivetrains and battery systems sees it working both with global car manufacturers and at the highest levels of motorsport. Other partners include specialist British companies Savcon and KS Composites, and agreements are in place with major Tier 1 suppliers including Continental for safety systems and Michelin for tires. The fundamental concept is battery only, but has been designed and engineered so that a range extender could be added. It has also been designed so that it can be made as a 2 plus 2 rather than a 2-seater. Although there has been an emphasis on developing a car with outstanding handling and dynamics, the absolute numbers associated with a 3-motor, 4-wheel drive powertrain are impressive. Virtual engineering has provided expected figures of 840 pound-foot torque and 600 horsepower which with four-wheel drive, torque vectoring and lightweight result in an estimated 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 3.5 seconds. The batteries are in a T-shaped pack between and behind the driver and passenger seats. The design features ultra-clean surfaces and visible structural elements. The exposed carbon fiber B pillars and roof structure are part of the aesthetic, but serve as both a safety cell and a device to create an exceptionally light cabin with a roof made largely of glass and a wraparound front screen. A 33% foam model, which was made for design verification purposes, can be seen at the Alcraft Motor Company booth at the Senex Low Carbon Vehicle event at the Millbrook Providing Ground in Bedfordshire on September 6th and 7th. We'll have more news about the automobile and its industry after we pause for another short break. I'll be right back. Vote for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph. Happiness. 
happiness times seven. The all new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all new Honda Mobilio. with a very timely message from the general manager for automobile of Suzuki Philippines, Mr. Shuzo Hoshikura. It's gift giving time of the year once again. If you are planning on giving your family or yourself gift of a lifetime, make sure to test drive it before you buy it. Come to the Autofocus Christmas Multi-Brand Test Drive Festival at Mall of Asia from November 16 to 19. Suzuki Philippines will have Celerio, Swift, Jimny, Seat, Ertiga, and a surprise new model for you. Please watch out for this. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas! to the Autofocus multi-brand pre-Christmas test drive festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome back to Autofocus, the show for the automobile enthusiast, and back to more auto industry developments. Asian Car Makers Corporation, or ACC, the official importers and distributors of BMW in the Philippines, recently hosted the BMW Expo 2017, held at the BMW Pavilion in Bonifacio Global City. According to ACC, with the theme Experience Sheer Driving Pleasure, this year's BMW Expo reflected the brand's strength and drive to create memorable individual journeys with not only its segment-leading vehicles, but also activities that help develop a better understanding of the heart of the BMW brand, Joy. We are now here at the BMW Expo 2017. The BMW Expo 2017 is BMW's biggest exhibition event that happens annually where we showcase the different models of BMW and also we want people to have an experience of what is at the heart of, of BMW, which is joy. So for this year, what is different with the Expo this year is that we are actually highlighting three major sections um, in this showcase. One is what we call the visionary. In the visionary section, we have here all the latest vehicles of BMW, which feature the latest innovations in terms of uh, technology and mobility. So, especially highlighted in this uh, section is the all-new 5 Series, which we launched uh, a couple of months ago. And the all-new 5 Series is actually, right now, what we call the business athlete that features everything that uh, a business executive would like to have in a sports sedan. We also have a section which we call Thrilling. In the thrilling section, we have the most exciting vehicles of BMW called the M line, and we also have the M Sport performance line. So we have here the very popular M2, the top selling M4, and of course, the different lines of the M Sport in the X series, as well as a special highlight of the 5 series with M performance parts. And then also in the thrilling is our motorrad section. So we have all the lineups of, of the BMW motorcycles that we have here in the Philippine market. 
We have here the R90 for the urban riders. We have the R1200 GS, which is for the adventure riders. And we even have our new G310R, which is our small bike in the motorcycle segment. And uh, finally, we have what we call the precious area. The precious area is where, of course, we highlight our flagship model, which is the all new 7 Series. And especially highlighted is a one of 100 in the world, the M760 Li Centenary Edition. So only here can you see that vehicle on display. And of course, another precious uh, area activity is what we call the kitty area. You know, the kids are our precious little things. They also have something here in the showcase. And uh, we have a driving area for kids where they are also taught about road safety. And they can also enjoy the small uh, BMW cars that we have uh, prepared for them. So here in the BMW Expo, we have everything for everyone. We have something for mom, for dad, for the kids. It's a good experience, bonding experience for the family, for them to be able to experience what sheer driving pleasure is really all about. And finally, Colombian Auto Car Corporation, the exclusive distributors of Kia vehicles in the Philippines, in partnership with Regis Global Cars Incorporated, recently expanded the dealership network of the Korean brand in the province of Cavite with the opening of Kia Carmona. The new space features a large showroom showcasing all of Kia's fun and family, friendly models and a fully equipped service bay ready to provide Kia's signature family-like care. We have a lot more body automobile coming up. In the meantime, here's our what and where to have them for our car enthusiasts on Automart. Here now is Automark, with products and services geared toward the automobile enthusiasts. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains, for Motul's opening year promo of greatly reduced prices. Out and out, car aficionados do not patronize just any custom shop for upgrades. Speed Lab has been in the business of setting up and sprucing cars for so long that it has become an institution in the local motoring scene. Custom built headers, racing filters, unichip programming and installation, dyno testing are just some of their specialties, which also include preventive maintenance solutions, overhauls, fleet maintenance and even fuel economy testing. For your next car upgrade, check out Speed Lab located at number 11, Pagataan Street, Banaue, Quezon City. Those who have similar notable products and services that appeal to auto enthusiasts, you can have them showcased on the Auto Focus Automark. For placement, just call STV at 633-4422. Automart, products and services for the automobile enthusiasts. Vote for your favorite car models and stand the chance to win autofocus t-shirts, coffee mugs, and other valuable giveaways. Vote for your Automobile of the Year in this year's Autofocus People's Choice Awards and win prizes from daily electronic draws. To participate, log on to www.autofocus.com.ph When you sweat to be sweet and you clean the seat it's love. it's love when you try to look cool, but you look like a fool. Are they more, are they it's cool? love. It's love. 
It's love. Show your love with the new features of the all-new Innova. Love the journey. Great control with a new Isuzu D Max. You're tough enough to be unstoppable, and you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D Max, tough enough for anything. Sunshine Girl Sarah Hernandez with a very timely message from the Vice President of Filipinas Taj Auto Group Inc., Mr. Art Balmadrid. Thinking of buying a car this Christmas? Make sure to test drive it before you buy it. The pre-Christmas multi-brand test drive festival, a one-stop shop for all brand new car models. Available in the country is happening on November 16 to 19 at the Mall of Asia, where Filipino Studs, the exclusive distributor of Tata Motors vehicles, shall have the latest car models and commercial vehicles that will be made available for test drive. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Merry Christmas everyone! Come to the Autofocus Multi-Brand Pre-Christmas Test Drive Festival on November 16 to 19. Remember, test drive it before you buy it. Welcome back to Autofocus, the electronic magazine exclusive to the automobile and its industry. And up next is this edition's special feature. Toyota Motor Philippines continues to support and promote the motorsports industry in the Philippines with another successful leg of the much-awaited 4th Vios Cup. Motor Philippines once again brought the thrill and excitement to motorsports and car racing enthusiasts in Pampanga as it concluded the third leg of the fourth Toyota Vios Cup, which was held at the Clark International Speedway. According to Toyota, the Vios Cup is the company's way of continuing the promotion and development of motorsports in the country. This uh, event is our so-called grassroots racing event. Uh, our BIOS, that is uh, actually having an image of just quality is okay, reliability is okay, uh, but uh, less uh, excitement, less fun image before starting this race. That's why we decided to utilize this motorsports event to enhance our image of excitement or fun to drive image uh, for our BIOS, then try to promote our BIOS models. That is our aim. Basically, racing itself, uh, we believe this is uh, enough size. So, more on, we are now trying to develop the, some other activity using the like a social network, some event outside, like uh, currently doing the, some amusement for the kids or to attract the audience. That portion we will try to enlarge. But the racing event itself, we keep this. Uh, Teor adds that the Vios Cup is also a big factor in the promotion of the Vios model. 
We like to promote motorsports in the country and the Vios is the best platform to promote motorsports, the love for cars, and also of course the product, the Vios. It appeals to younger people. We're trying to market the Vios as a young, vibrant, energetic product. So I guess with the Vios Cup, they see that you can race the car and it uh, has its sporting nature. So it appeals to younger buyers. This time, a total of 54 racers composed of 36 individual teams and 8 celebrity racers battled it out in the racetrack. But a day before the official race, the racers headed to SM Clark for a meet and greet with their fans and supporters. For round one, Fabio Ide from Toyota Motor Philippines placed first for the celebrity class, which gave Dominic Roque a serious challenge considering that he bagged the first place in the previous leg. I didn't have a good, a good start. Uh, see, Dominic was able to overtake me and then two laps later was able to overtake him. Uh, and then I was able to finish him first, so it was really, really good. I was really like, uh, I mean, I've been practicing for this so to get a place in the podium, but it was so much fun, but it was intense. Nakakapagod. Talaga, grabe. Sinubukan ko lahat ng mga kaya ko, pero hirap eh. Hirap niya unahan din. Hirap niyang nade-defend niya yung possession niya. And uh, I tried my best na lumampas, pero hirap. Baka parehas kami hindi makatapos. Meanwhile, Sean Velasco from Toyota Cebu got the first place in the sporting class, which according to him was a very challenging win. I started fourth. When the lights went out, I overtook Ayura, so I became third. And I was banned Mark C, which was really tough to overtake. I had to overtake him twice, but then push through, so I had to tuck in again. And he missed out on the big loop, and so I got in side by side with him and I overtook him. And Pao, the first person in front, was breaking away. He was far ahead until the safety car came in. Once the safety car came in, everything bunched up, and I had my chance to overtake him then. Representing GM Motorsports, Willem Waltier shared his experience as well as his strategies on how he won first place in the promotional class. Well, I was looking for a clean start. The lights were kind of long on red, so I think my neighbor had a little bit difficulties with the lights going out. So I was able to gain a little advantage on the number one, going into the first corner. Then there was a little tackle behind me, so it gave me like a little bit of space. So then I decided just make like qualify and just keep your head down and lap after lap after lap, you know, go as fast as you can. And then after six laps, I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw I had like some kind of like a, a buffer. So I was able to, you know, go a little bit less to the max. On the other hand, Dominic Ochoa from Toyota Kazan Avenue made an obvious comeback by bagging the first place in the super sporting class. The practice paid off. Thank you to Mato, Matonetics, and thank you to our boss, Toyota Quezon Avenue, Boss Franklin, and Boss Lincoln for uh, trusting me again to return to the Vios Cup Series. We still have another race on November, so uh, it's not yet over. It's not so yet over. Another highlight of the third leg of the fourth Vios Cup was the return of the Drift King, Mr. Keichi Chuchia, to showcase his latest drift stunts. Vios Cup is also a big event for the Vios Cup. It's a big event for the Vios Cup. He's joining the Vios Cup every year, but he, every time he comes, he feels that it's growing and expanding, so it's so exciting. Cup. 
round two first placers are Dominic Roque for the celebrity class, Sean Velasco for the sporting class, Roy Bunag for the promotional class, and Jet Calderon for the super sporting class. Racers will be back in November to compete for the fourth and last leg of the fourth Vios Cup. We congratulate Toyota Motor Philippines for another successful leg of the 4th Vios Cup. Three legs done, one more to go. And we're sure that motorsports fans and car racing enthusiasts are looking forward to the event, especially after an intense race. Welcome now to the final page of our electronic magazine as we again put on the spotlight concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. This time, we train the spotlight on the 2017 Hyundai FE Fuel Cell Concept. Let's take a look. In early 2017, at the Davos World Economic Forum, Hyundai Motor Company joined the launch of the Hydrogen Council, a global initiative to promote the development and commercialization of fuel cell cars as an alternative to fossil fuel vehicles. This follows two decades at the forefront of hydrogen vehicle development, most recently with the iX35 fuel cell or Tucson fuel cell in some markets, which in 2013 became the world's first mass-produced hydrogen-powered vehicle and is currently on sale in 17 countries around the world. The FE fuel cell concept continues Hyundai Motors' commitment to fuel cell vehicle development and is part of the company's eco-vehicle program that will see 14 or more new environmentally focused models introduced by 2020. Spurred on by greater global demand for fuel-efficient, eco-friendly vehicles, the program continues the example of innovation set by Ionic, the first car to offer a choice of three electrified powertrains in a single body type. The FE concept showcases Hyundai Motors' fourth generation of hydrogen fuel cell technology, an evolution of research, development, and real-world evaluation programs around the world. When compared with the current generation system used in the Tucson iX35 fuel cell, the new technology is 20% lighter and achieves 10% greater efficiency. In addition, the power density of the fuel cell stack is increased by 30%, boosting the car's range significantly. As another reinforcement of the car's eco-credentials and focus on customer convenience, the FE concept features portable battery packs charged by the car's energy output to power passenger devices. Meanwhile, the trunk features an integrated storage and charging space for an electric scooter, demonstrating how Hyundai Motor is developing mobility solutions to match future lifestyles. The new concept car is more than simply beautiful and innovative. It is highly capable too. The car is designed to run for more than 800 kilometers between refueling, acknowledging the current limited hydrogen infrastructure. Elements of the FE fuel cell concept will influence an SUV fuel cell model set for launch in 2018, which will feature advanced Hyundai Smart Sense driver assistance technologies alongside an extensive hydrogen powered range. And that's Autofocus this week. We hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been your host, Butch Gamboa.